I am the mother of Derek Scholen. I am here to speak on behalf of my entire family. On November 25th, 2020, not only did Derek's life change forever, but so did mine and my family's. Derek devoted 19 years of his life to the Minneapolis Police Department. It has been difficult for me to hear and read what the media, public, and prosecution team believe Derek to be an aggressive, heartless, and uncaring person. I can tell you that is far from the truth. My son's identity has also been reduced to that as of that as a racist. I want this court to know that none of these things are true and that my son is a good man. Derek always dedicated his life and time to the police department. Even on his days off, he would call in to see if they needed help. Derek is a quiet, thoughtful, honorable, and self selfless man. He has a big heart and he always has put others before his own. The public will never know the loving and caring man he is, but his family does. Even though I have not spoken publicly, I have always supported him 100% and always will. Derek has played over and over in his head the events of that day. I have seen the toll it has taken on him. I believe a lengthy sentence will not serve Derek well. When you sentence my son, you will also be sentencing me. I will not be able to see Derek, talk to him on the phone, or give him our special hug. Plus the fact that when he is released, his father and I most likely will not be here. Derek. My happiest moment is when I gave birth to you. And my second is when I was honored to pin your police badge on you. I remember you whispering to me, don't stick me with it. Derek, I want you to know I have always believed in your innocence and I will never waver from that. I have read numerous letters from people around the world that also believe in your innocence. No matter where you go, where you are, I will always be there to visit you. I promise you I will stay strong as we talked about, and I want you to do the same for me. I will do what you told me to do, take care of myself, so I will be here for you when you come home. Remember there is no stronger bond or love than a mother's love. One final thought I want you to remember. Remember, you are my favorite son. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel.
Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.